Hello everyone and welcome to Cantata of the Week. I'm Robert Quinney, I'm the Director of Music at New College Oxford and an Associate Professor in the University's Music Faculty. But back in 2000 I'd only just left university myself. I was incredibly fortunate to be the research assistant to John Elliott for the Bach Cantata pilgrimage and then during the pilgrimage itself to appear occasionally as a continuo player, seeing all that planning coming to fruition. This week's cantata is one in which I played in May 2000 in Dresden. It's a city with incredible resonance for Bach scholars, but also, of course, a, a terrible significance for any European. And back then it was still a building site with buildings such as the Frauenkirche being reconstructed, having been lost on that terrible night in 1945. This week's cantata is Wahrlich, Wahrlich, ich sage euch. It was composed in 1724, toward the end of the first cycle of cantatas, so almost a year after Bach had begun work in Leipzig back on Trinity Sunday in 1723. The second movement of this cantata is the reason why I chose it. It's an aria for alto and it's about plucking roses. And the roses are blooming in my garden at the moment as it happens. Here's one I plucked earlier. And that made me think that Bach's use of this text at this particular time of year was no coincidence. The roses would have been blooming all over Leipzig on the 14th of May, 1724, when this aria was first heard, just as they're blooming here in Oxford, almost 296 years to the day later. And as anyone who's ever pruned roses without a sturdy pair of gloves knows, enjoying their beauty can come at a thorny cost. And that point is being made in the music, principally by the virtuosic violin arpeggios, and it was an unforgettable sight as well as sound to see Katy de Brezzeni in Dresden playing these so brilliantly. So these ravishing arcs of sound being created by the violin come at a cost, a lot of very frenetic bow movement. And the costly effort, we sense, is worth it because of the, the product, this incredible music, very beautiful and also rather exciting music in a very brilliant key, E major. Now this is a Bach cantata, so it's theology rendered in sound. And if we think a little bit about uh, what Bach's audience was hearing, uh, in their mind was still the fairly recent memory of the very first performance, as it happens, of the John Passion. And in the Passion narrative, thorns have a very important role. They are used to weave a crown, an ironic crown that's meant to wound and to debase, but ironically, again, a double irony becomes the means by which the kingship of Jesus is finally revealed, uh, even as he's crucified. And the thorns in this aria look ahead as well as back to the Passion, because only four days after Rogate Sunday, when this cantata was first performed, it's Ascension, when Jesus is forever crowned and seated at the right hand of the Father. Moving away from theology, we could just as easily make an aesthetic point, I suppose we could call it, about this music, what it's saying to us. Uh, true beauty is not easily attained. Um, great art the production of great art can be a thorny business. Well, whatever our attitude toward religion, I don't think we can fully comprehend the breadth and depth of Bach's genius without a knowledge of his cantatas. And perhaps even the, their very obscurity, the fact that we don't know them as well as the masterworks like the, the Passions, um, encourages us um, or encourages in us um, a different perspective, a fresh way of looking and looking at hearing this music. And I know that that's something that happened as much to the performers as to the audiences during the Bach Cantata pilgrimage, and it certainly made a mark on me. One result of that is that now New College Choir, not at the moment, but once uh, we get out of our current predicament and are back in our chapel singing, every term we sing a Bach Cantata as part of a reconstructed Vespers liturgy uh, from the tradition that Bach himself performed in. And more good news, the complete Bach Cantatas are available sung by the Monteverdi Choir, played by the English Baroque soloists, um, and they're available now in the SDG shop on the website. So I hope you enjoy this week's cantata. <laughs> 